Hi, in this video today, I'm gonna to show you how a Crone IDC tool works. This is a punch down tool used for punching in wires to telephone sockets and also data sockets as well. I'm just gonna talk you through the features of this particular one here. Other tools won't have things like this sensor. So you might not have the sensor in your one, but it's still interesting to see how it works. So looking around the tool, we have this part here and we also have this part here. This one's useful because it's just like a little hook. It allows you to unhook the wires if they're already connected into something. And this one's for removing chrome strips from box connections. You probably won't be using this in a residential environment. Now we have a lock here for stopping the cutting action of the tool. So when you use a tool like this, what will happen is there's a little blade here and it will cut off the excess wire. That way then you're not gonna be able to get shorts on the wire to cause faults at a later stage. But there might be some instances where you want to turn that cutter off. That's what you would use this for. So let me zoom in. And if you have a look, you can see that this blade is cutting at the moment because it's cutting across there. But if we were to turn this here, it basically locks it so that it will not cut. You might be wondering why you would want that. Well, let's say if you were to put a wire in and you want to daisy chain it onto something else, maybe on a patch panel, you might want to connect up five of the RJ45s together with the one wire in each slot. That's when you would use it without the cut in action. So you would punch it in, go on to the next one with the same wire, punch it in, daisy chain it to the next one, punch it in and move on. In a normal residential setup, again, you're probably not gonna use that and it's just gonna be used with the normal cutter on. So I'm gonna show you how it works and then I'm gonna show you how the sensor works. At the moment, the sensor is off and we're gonna put the wire in to the socket this way. And when we punch down, it's gonna cut off the excess wire there. So you can see it's no, there's no uh, excess wire that's gonna cause any problem. If you have a look closely here, you will see that these connections have a little shoulder on, on one side. Can you see the little shoulder just here? That is where the cutting blade goes. Yeah, so it goes in like that there. It's the same if you look closely at the RJ45 sockets, the ethernet sockets, you have a shoulder on one side. The shoulder is where the cutting blade is gonna go. Yeah, so when you put your wire in, let's do this one here, and push down. You do it vertically as well. It cuts off the excess. And you can see the wire goes in from that side and it gets cut here. Now, with the sensor, the sensor is a nice little feature where it will only punch down if you've got a good connection in here. So right now the sensor's off and it doesn't matter how I do this, the cutter's always gonna work. If you were to put the sensor on by doing this, you can see we've now moved it to here. Can you see now when I push it in, it's not allowing the cutter to work. It's only gonna allow the cutter to work if we have a full on connection in here. So let's put this wire in here. And if we go to push down now, you will now see that when we're in here, it will allow it to cut. And that's because there's a little part in here that needs to go in, this part here needs to go in before it will allow the cutter to work. It just gives you a nice confirmation that you have got the tool fully inserted. It might be useful if you're working in a dark room and you don't wanna just rely on the sounds because if it's like this, you rely on the sound and you think it's made the connection. Well, when you have it like this, it will only make that sound when it's made a good connection there. So that is just a very quick overview of how this tool works. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.